Busch Gardens Tampa is already home to one of the best roller coaster and attraction lineups in the world, but what if I were to tell you this park would receive a huge change that might cement the park as one of the best? In this video, I will go over a 5 year prediction for Busch Gardens that can be absolutely insane if the park actually executes it. With the addition of Phoenix Rising for the 2024 season, I expect to see no major attractions added for 2025. The park has generally added attractions every 2 to 3 years, with the only exception being the very small gap between Iron Gwazi and Serengeti Flyer due to the delays with the prior. With the Pantopia area receiving an upgrade this year, I expect more improvements to be made later in the year and even in 2025 with multiple family rides being added. An attraction that is taking off in the industry is the Zamperla Nebulas, as they have an unmatched visual of many near-miss moments, and the ride itself is thrilling for both younger kids and adults, with the only real concern of this attraction being capacity. Near the end of 2024, or even the beginning of 2025, we will see a drastic change that may upset many fans of the park. Now I could be entirely wrong and we don't see this, and after all this is a 5 year prediction and nothing is set in stone, but I believe that we will see a major coaster close, with that being Kumba. Now the coaster isn't very popular as of now, and is reaching the end of its service life. Most B&Ms really don't have the longest service life, especially for a ride like this that's been operating for a long time in the Florida heat almost every day of the year, such as the Incredible Hulk, which has already undergone a full retrack, but I don't believe that Busch Gardens will save it, because they already have an intense B&M across the park in Montu, which is more popular than this ride. Now if the park were to invest in a full retrack for Kumba, it would cost about as much money as it would be to build a new coaster in this plot, which is not the best financial decision for the park, especially considering that they can make a better ride and make it more unique if they don't retrack this. Now, if the park doesn't go down the retracking route, I see three possibilities for this new coaster. Let's start with the elephant in the room, which is a Giga coaster. Everyone has been petitioning for a Giga over the past few years at BGT, and while many are dissatisfied that it hasn't come to fruition yet, there are a lot of factors involved if they do attempt this massive project. Firstly, they will need special permission from the city with the height restrictions in place, but it isn't out of reach since the absolute maximum is around 400 feet. There are also residential areas nearby, and noise could be a problem unless they fork over the extra money for sand filling the track. As for the most commonly discussed part of this potential attraction, I believe the manufacturer will be B&M. While Intamin or even RMC could make this project one of the best in the world, SeaWorld has a long-standing relationship with B&M and will most likely trust them to build a coaster on this scale. The B&M version has a stellar track record and brings in a large number of new visitors, and even a large park like Kings Island benefited from adding one. Orion is the smallest giga but still has rave reviews for many enthusiasts and park goers. While Kumba is located on a compact plot of land, they have the gator alley behind it to build on, and they could use the plot itself to have a twister finale of some sorts. They could even use the Kumba station in some way, even if it would be just a queue house for the ride. As for probabilities for this coaster, I give this a very high 70% chance of happening. The next possible attraction in this plot is a B&M launch wing coaster, which doesn't make sense on paper, but BGT already has a family thrill launch in Cheetah Hunt, so why not go extreme for another launch coaster and make a successor to Kumba and possibly even retain the theme? The coaster could even use some of the old Kumba track at the entrance portal like Incredible Hulk at Universal. While this idea is cool, I don't think there's a very high chance of it happening, especially since Phoenix Rising already exists, and they could have totally done a B&M wing in that plot. I give this a 20% chance of happening. The final roller coaster I see going in this area is a big shot in the dark, but ever since the RMC T-Rex has been revealed to the world, people have been raving over it and wanting one to be added to their local park, and I see Busch Gardens Tampa taking that risk. Now will they actually add it? Probably not. But RMC has been teasing the addition of one of these in their past few tweets. Not many parks will be willing to be the guinea pig for this model, but as I mentioned, Busch Gardens Tampa is a park that we've seen innovate time and time again. It wouldn't have to be a full-scale coaster and break any large records, but going over 200 and maybe even to 250 would be super attractive to many enthusiasts or just the public going to Florida for a vacation. This is more of a dream than a real possibility, and I give this a 2% chance of happening, leaving space for an outside chance at some other coaster models. 
For 2027, I don't see a major coaster since the park in this situation already got a coaster in the year prior, but if they don't get it in 2026, it will be this year. The most likely scenario here is for not much, but if the park wants to make any sort of changes to Cheetah Hunt, this would most likely be the perfect opportunity to do so, since it would be over 15 years old at that point. While that is not close to the end of its service life, I think the ride would benefit from new generation trains in a small overhaul like we're seeing on Skyrush. Granted, the over-the-shoulder restraint currently used is fine for the public since the ride does go upside down, but I know many enthusiasts who want this upgrade and feels like the over-the-shoulder harness is unnecessary. 2028 will most likely introduce more animal experiences, but I have an idea for the park for a new coaster. While they already have coasters such as Phoenix Rising and Cobra's Curse, if they really want to round up their family lineup, they can add another coaster by Serengeti Flyer, so the area, which is not very popular as of now, gets more foot traffic. As for the ride itself, a perfect option is a coaster that is slowly taking off in the US, with two new being added in the Midwest for 2024. The Vacoma family boomerang may have poor capacity, but going through the safari would be a great and marketable concept that they have already used with Serengeti Flyer. If capacity was really a concern for the park, a turntable or a switch track of some sorts could be added to bolster that aspect of the ride. And finally, 2029 is pretty far out to predict a major attraction, but I do have some predictions for the park. Scorpion is the obvious outlier to be removed next after Kumba potentially, and the park could use the space in the middle where the employee buildings are located to create a new attraction. They could also always use the current show pavilion by Iron Quasi for a Sesame Street expansion, but this is one of the many possibilities for that area. If you want to see a somewhat decent prediction for Kings Island, which is not accurate for 2024 at all, make sure to watch this video. For now, this is Zero G signing out. Have a great day, and I'll catch you on the next train.